everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to cover the basics for a system design interview especially the procedure and expectations and the red flags so before we start real content for today i would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe to the channel so uh, let's get started a system design interview is one of the most important interviews uh, especially for senior candidates so if you're a senior candidate who is interviewing with a senior plus position, so this is one of the most important interviews you want to care about because it is mostly to see uh, your design experience to tell whether your experience is already there for you to take this position, uh, to see if you can successfully land on this position with your current experience. So let's see uh, what it is. Usually uh, it starts with a uh, quite broad uh, scope uh, or quite broad question. For example, let's design Facebook timeline. So let's design Amazon checkout system. So it's not like that broad, like de please design Google. Uh, so it's not that broad, but rather it starts with something uh, with uh, not limited scope, but uh, n but uh, it, it is quite broad scope, but it is not like a very broad scope. So it's not like uh, try to have you design everything for your for your product, but it is rather to tell to tell you to design a pretty popular feature with enough scope for to tell your design experience. So usually the procedure is like uh, first of all you need to uh, try to scope this uh, question because the question can be a bit broad at the very beginning. So you definitely need to try to tell what are the features you're going to. Uh, try to design uh, in this uh, in this uh, interview because it has very limited time and uh, What are the non goals you're not going to cover? So this starts with uh, having a nice conversation with the interviewer asking uh, some questions To try to clarify what are the feature requests we are going to focus on this interview So after that uh, what you usually do is you do some constraints analysis or you do uh, or it is sometimes called a analysis or it is sometimes called a back of the envelope app uh, back of the envelope uh, estimation so essentially in this part you still ask some questions about for example do some traffic analysis what is the number of the DAU daily active user like do some traffic analysis uh, do some storage analysis and try to set up some SLO for example availability consistency, uh, scalability, uh, latency, so something like that. So you need to collect a bunch of the requirements for this uh, system. So why it is important to cover, that is because um, usually we try to design a scalable system like distributed system, but sometimes maybe it is just a, like a toy system for you to start uh, with. So it is very different from, um, between designing a toy system with designing a uh, large-scale distributed system. So uh, try to make sure about the design scope, uh, do some constraints analysis. Um, so usually this part, it takes about like three or four minutes to collect all the numbers to help you understand what is the scale of the system. And the next part, usually it is about to um, think about the infrastructure design, which is the design overview. So you can draw some graph, uh, or you can uh, type some. You can you can type some text uh, about uh, what kind of the service you're going to focus, like what are the components, the dependency, the data flow among the different components, something like that. So usually it is it is it starts with something rather broad, so like very high level uh, infrastructure design. So you don't need to cover the um, the very detailed component design in this part because you're not there uh, you're you're not there at, at the moment so tam sometimes i see some interview interviewee uh, just to design a workable system while not considering the scalability at the time so that's okay in my personal opinion but uh, what we what i usually do is during the infrastructure design i also take the scalability into consideration to try to make sure that um, when we have uh, more traffic, the infrastructure itself is scalable enough. Because if you start with something like a toy system, and then without taking the scalability into consideration, that could be a something uh, that could be 
quickly introduce some uh, difficulty in the next step when you try to make this uh, system to be scalable. So maybe take take the scalability, uh, reliability, something like that into the consideration when you try to design this infrastructure. Uh, I think that will help uh, make the rest of the part of the interior to be more smooth. So for this part, usually it is about uh, like uh, uh, infrastructure, high level, and uh, uh, try to tell what are the components uh, we are, you're going to have and uh, the dependencies dependencies uh, and also like the data flow something like that so it is like a very high level overview about the system and the next part is about detailed design for uh, specific components so usually for this part um, it depends on the interviewer's interest maybe he wants to drop it into the ske data schema part to try to understand that maybe the cache layer so maybe uh, like the service how you design uh, the spe a specific uh, a component of the service uh, indexing something like that so it it is based on your experience it is also based on the interviewer's interest uh, which part you want to dive into so um so this this part you will have like a discussion about the com specific components design uh, how you're going to design this, why it is scalable, something like that. And during this part, usually there will be some other things um, uh, happening. So, so for example, like uh, uh, the consideration of uh, scalability, how to, how, how to make this uh, component uh, scalable enough, how this uh, component fits in the entire infrastructure that uh, the infra entire ins infrastructure is scalable. So, so you, you do some uh, detailed design of the components and you have uh, to, uh, to do some like a scalability tuning to justify that the infrastructure is scalable enough and uh, the specific component design support this kind of support this kind of the scalability. So something like that. So um, and also um, maybe when we have when we still have some time left, you can talk about like for example like the product rollout the uh, monitoring like the pager uh, logging etc so it depends on the the timeline we have here so um, so if you if you have more time uh, then uh, we will talk more about uh, the different components different topics but uh, if there's uh, less of the time then uh, usually uh, people can just escape some of the components while focusing uh, the most important uh, components they are they're going to um, they they want to dig into to see how much you know uh, where you are at so something like that so usually the procedure is like you try to start with the scoping about spending three four minutes something like that then you do some constraints analysis maybe three or four minutes and then design overview usually takes about like 10 minutes around that and then the rest of the time will be spent on the detailed design scalability uh, reliability so something like those topics so um, this is the general procedure of the system design interview so what is the expectation actually so the expectation usually is to so usually this the question is uh, what the interviewer knows very well so usually it is something usually uh, interviewer knows the problem very well so it might be a system uh, that he or she has uh, designed before or if it is a system uh, that uh, he knows very well about like the from the top to the to the from top down about uh, each of the how the how uh, each of the component is designed what is the infrastructure is like so th because the interior knows uh, the the system very well so he uh, may already have encountered some uh, some some very difficult distributed di distributed system uh, issues he needs to uh, try to solve. So he will ask bring up a couple of the questions to discuss the pros and cons about different approach like uh, and also the general direction you're going to take to uh, to solve some potential issues he how or she has ever encountered before during his or her uh, design experience. So if you try to, uh, if you can try to come up with like a similar solution to what he or she has ever taken, 
or maybe come up with even a smarter idea that has like a better scalability, reliability, something like that, then um, that that would be the expectation for this interview. So usually it is try to see if you can solve the same problem in the same in a similar or better way uh, comparing to to um, comparing to what the interviewer has has done before. So there's no single there's no single right answer. So there's so the interviewer isn't expecting like a, a specific answer to this question because in the system design interview, depending on the situation, it is just that for different design choice, you have the pros and cons, and you justify why you take this way instead of that way, um, because uh, you just you try to justify uh, your own uh, opinion. So there's no the, the interviewer doesn't expect a single right answer, but rather you can take the way if it makes sense, if it can solve this problem perfectly, uh, not perfectly, if you can consider the pros and cons and the situation and come up with a way that makes a lot of sense, then that's pretty much the expectation from the interviewer. So it is workable, reliable, scalability is enough, uh, reliability, uh, consistency, something like that. So take the different consideration, take into the consideration about the SLO you have set up in the second step. So that would be the general expectation. So I would say usually interior knows the problem very well. If uh, you can solve um, the problem uh, and the justify, then then it is okay. So some, there are some red flags that is worth to consider. So the first thing is, I see some interviewer may uh, just directly jump into the question without thinking, it, without even telling the scope, uh, without doing some analysis to try to understand the problem. So I would say the first red flag is jump into solution too quickly. So try to have a nice discussion. So even maybe, maybe even you know the problem very well. So for example, uh, when people ask you a question like let's design Twitter and you start to design the the, the, the user timeline um, but rather maybe the the interviewer want to ask you about like the search for the post so you never know about uh, you never know about like the feature request you're going to focus because the broadness of the problem so usually uh, I would suggest you to start to ask some questions to scope this question uh, to scope this, uh, this system design interview question without jumping to the solution too quickly. So after you know the, what you're trying to design, uh, the goal of this, then you can think about the solution like doing some design overview stuff. So try to not, try not to, uh, to jump into the solution too quickly. And the other thing is, um, when there, when the interviewer have some uh, questions, sometimes uh, the the sometimes I see candidates just uh, try to omit the question. So um, maybe the interviewer want to break you a little bit to try to discuss uh, like another different design option here and uh, discuss the pros and cons to to try to see whether you have taken this into consideration and why you take this way to justify like asking about pros and cons, justify your design choice, something like that. If you just uh, try to omit the question, this could be another red flag. So think about in your daily work, you have like uh, a design a review with your coworker and uh, the coworker may bring up some concerns about uh, one part of the, de the design choice. If you just omit the question, it, it may not be a very uh, good thing because it's something like you don't respect other people's uh, opinion so even that could be um, a question which could be dumped to you. So you still need to have like a uh, like a like a polite answer uh, to justify your design choice. And the third thing is um, like is to be too conservative. So some so because uh, it is distribute for distributed system. Usually there is not a perfect answer for. Sometimes there usually there is not a perfect answer. It's rather some pros and cons uh, to do some trade off about this. That's because of the limitation of the physics laws. So um, if you hold an opinion and uh, you, if you hold an opinion and another person come up with another opinion, uh, 
just to do some pros and cons estimation to try to resolve this conflict instead of just saying, okay, this one is, this is the idea, uh, this is the direction we are definitely going to take, uh, no way to take the other, uh, no way to take the other way. That would be a really red flag. So if you're being too conservative during the discussion, um, that would be like another red flag in the interview. So I would say, um, so for the citizen design interview, uh, try to think about like you have a nice good discussion with your peer about like a about a, like a infrastructure design of a new feature or of an of a new system. So treat your interviewer as a coworker. So that would be uh, that would help you to uh, that would help you to really. Uh, make this uh, conversation a bit more nice uh, and friendly and also make the discussion uh, make you feel more charming uh, during the discussion as well so don't you don't need to be too nervous uh, just think uh, if you I, I so if you're interviewing with a like a senior position I assume you have a lot of the experience designing the, the different systems so um, just uh, just just treat the interview as like uh, one of the daily usual experience about your design uh, presentation something like that then it can help ease your nerve and make the conversation to be more smooth and friendly and nice so let's see how uh, what else i'm going to try to cover so the red flag is uh, jumping to solution too quickly i uh, made the question or being too conservative um and also there is another flag i would say uh, lack of the experience uh, or knowledge so try to refresh your mind about the different uh, things uh, in uh, distributed systems. So for example, the like the load balancer, like the cache, uh, the SQL, non SQL, what is the difference, and the CDN. So something like like that. Try to refresh your mind about uh, about the distributed system. Uh, doing some uh, preparation, definitely do some preparation about that. So maybe during the last year, you have mostly focusing on building the data pipeline, and you definitely didn't do too much of the work building this backend service. Um, so try to refresh your mind about that, um, because if you don't do that during the interview, you may be, uh, you may, you may feel shocked about uh, like a question you're definitely not familiar with. So refresh your mind about your knowledge and think about use some uh, problems which are quite well known. Um, problems try to train your mind like think about like uh, if you're doing this uh, design what are how are you going to design this and why you're going to use uh, choose different design choices uh, something like that so I would say red flags uh, those are the quite common red flags I have seen during the past interview experience so that's it for uh, this uh, interview if you uh, sorry this that's it for this video sorry I, I, uh, I was I lost my mind so if you have any question about uh, the if you have any question about the system design interview or if you have anything uh, I can help with feel free to leave some comments below if you like this video please help subscribe to the channel I'll see you next time thanks for watching